Good morning, Facebook. Hey, it's Melissa with Miller's Rustic Sawmill. Um, I'm gonna wait a few minutes and see if anyone hops on here. I am going live from Main Street in King City in our small hometown. And um, I am just coming on to uh, talk about a little bit and show you guys a little bit of things that are going on uh, with us today. I'm in a hat, I'm in braided hair from yesterday. We had a class last night and uh, we did a Rustic Chiefs uh, flag. It was a lot of fun, but it was a late night. And today is um, demo day one of something exciting going on with uh, our mill and our business and hopefully the town. So we've got, uh, we've got some exciting news. A lot of people around town, you know, and around the area, I think kind of have known that um, we just actually bought the old grocery store in King City, Missouri. So um, I'm gonna take you guys on a little tour of um, Main Street here in King City, and I'm gonna show off some of what it looks like here in our little town right now, and um, what we're doing with the grocery store. I'll give you a little bit of insight on that too, because I think a lot of people are wondering, um, we're not putting in a grocery store, I can tell you that. No grocery store, I'm sorry to um, our town, but, um, we're not gonna we're not gonna take that on so that ship has sailed unfortunately I guess for for King City but good thing we have Dollar General so um, I'm gonna turn my camera around and um, we've been working on this for most of the year to be honest probably since about January and February we've been um, contemplating and planning and working on some business planning and we've got some big things that we hope to uh, bring to our little town and maybe uh, change some some of the storefronts hopefully even later on it, you know I know it takes a while but it's a work in progress and nothing happens overnight but um, we closed on the store oh my gosh Thursday Wednesday I don't even know I don't even know today's Saturday I'm I'm lost we closed on it this last week you would think I would know I I think it was actually Tuesday, Wednesday, something. Anyway, we, we have the keys. And um, today is the first day that we've actually been able to go in and um, start working on it and cleaning it up. It was a trashed up mess. So um, we have our kiddos, we are up here working on it and um, all of that good stuff. And it's, you never know what you're gonna find. So that's been fun too. We found some really cool things in here and um, we're gonna turn it into a really cool space. So um, a little bit about that. Uh, if you're local, I'm sure, um, you know, we've heard a lot of rumors. We've heard that people thought we were gonna open up a general store. Um, we've thought that, we've heard that, um, it was going to be a grocery store. We've heard we've heard all kinds of things, and it's it's a big space. It really is. So um, there's a lot that could be done with it. Um, but our plans are to uh, make it into a maker space. So um, we are actually cleaning it out, and the goal is to have um, house this shop will house six makers who are. Uh, making things by hand, handmade, beautiful, either wood projects, sewing projects. Um, we're going to be taking some applications for those makers and they'll pay rent in the space and they're going to have um, use of the tools and we are being sponsored by Stanley Tools. So all of the tools and equipment that are that's going to go into our shop, um, it will all be uh, Stanley Tools. So we are going to set up spaces for six makers to have some shared space and um, they can make beautiful things out of there and um, hopefully eventually maybe we can uh, launch some businesses out of here. We've had several businesses start through our mill in other communities and cities in Kansas City even. Um, we have been selling a lot of our wood to people over the last five years. So um, a lot of those people over the last five years have been able to quit their corporate jobs or quit their other job, whatever it was they were doing, and um, run a business making things. So um, we are part of a maker's movement and um, we've been tied with a, a show called Make 48, which is an inventor's competition. So we've had this opportunity to uh, do this in our town. Um, it was 
kind of a brainchild of my husband and um, an, a guy that uh, runs the Make 48. It's uh, something that I quit my job for. Um, it was an opportunity that I felt like uh, if we didn't take it, uh, somebody else is going to in another surrounding state, in another town, and um, we're going to be able to use this as a blueprint, basically, for other rural makerspaces, hopefully across the country, who want to do the same things in their rural communities. And um, I just wanted to you know tell everybody that's kind of what we're doing we're hoping to bring um, some new businesses not only to our town but maybe some surrounding communities we're hoping to uh, bring a little bit of life here and make it someplace that uh, people want to come and visit and we hope it does launch some other businesses uh, we kind of feel like if uh, we've had other people that could do that in other communities and move to small towns and start businesses we should be able to do that here and even around us so um, that's kind of our plan and we are excited I know it sounds kind of crazy but um, it's really not you know there are a lot of people that make some beautiful things and um, you know a lot of people who might want to start something um, as a business and we are excited to try to make that happen so um, thanks you guys yes thank you yeah we've been I've been praying about it a lot um, and you know last fall the company I've worked for for about 15 years um, was sold and um, I kind of took that as a sign that it was time for me to maybe focus on our mill full time anyway. And then, you know, lo and behold, after the first of the year, uh, this opportunity just kind of came about and we kind of decided that if we didn't take it and we didn't make it happen, it would move on somewhere else. So you never know until you try. So we are taking, uh, you know, taking those steps and we pulled it off and made it happen and we finally were able to close on this grocery store so this grocery store has been a staple in King City for a really long time and um, I think it might have been you know a hub for King City and it was you know something that brought life to downtown it was something that um, people came in to see the owner people you know would love to come into this grocery store whenever Dean McCray owned it and he um, I think it probably would have maybe a lot of buildings here on Main Street have been turned into apartments and um, we think that it would have been sad to see it turned into apartments so um, it was something that we kind of looked around we looked at another building or two around town too and decided that uh, this was kind of where our heart was in on Main Street was in this building so um, we are super excited for any of the makers that end up in this space and um, we're super excited to see what comes out of it um, we do own another location right on the highway and um, we plan to eventually start using that space to also help sell some of the maker stuff who are in our um, maker space so uh, it's definitely different for a rural community. Uh, there's a lot of maker spaces in cities and um, you know urban areas where there's a, a lot more people to support that stuff. But you know there's so many really cool businesses around up the road. Um, we have a restaurant now, so um, we're hoping to bring people to our little community and um, bring some uh, life to it and the surrounding areas as well. Stanbury's got a lot of really neat things going on in their town. They've got some cute shops. They've got, you know, different things that they do. And so we're kind of trying to just tie in some things for the communities around us too by bringing this in here. So um, we'll see what happens, but I'm gonna show you uh, this view of Main Street. I'm gonna turn this around and um, I'm gonna show you what we're doing. Um, I know some of you uh, can don't live around here, so some of you that follow us uh, are from different states. So I'm going to show you Main Street, King City, for those of you that don't know what it looks like. So this is our Main Street, and so 
We've got an old theater over here that's really, really cool that we have community plays in. And we've got two kiddos right now that are almost always in uh, the plays. And it's called the Lucille Theater. There's a lot of history in this town that's pretty amazing. Um, I've been in some of the tops and the upstairs of some of these buildings. Um, and they are just absolutely beautiful and um, things that you know don't get built today anymore so um, this is this is the north side of Main Street I'm gonna just kind of pan around you can see there's some apartments on the corner over there with that castle like corner um, we've got City Hall we've got subway we've got action management and um, I'm getting ready so where those wood shingles start that's our grocery store. So that and the to the reddish rust color uh, small door where um, my husband's truck is sitting, um, that used to be a barber shop and it was added to the grocery stores. So um, that is also ours, part of the grocery store whenever we bought it. It was opened up a long time ago and that's gonna be the future makerspace. So there's a lot of room in there. Um, if we go on down the St. Corns, that's where Miss Gale had her sewing business. And um, I honestly don't know what else is in some of these buildings. Um, this is the Tri-County News. Uh, this is where our newspaper is. Um, this is a cute little flower shop. And uh, on down, I think this is an apartment, and then the bank. So, yeah, it, it's a large space, Colleen. We're we're excited. It had to be had to be fairly big, but um, we're gonna have tools and equipment. And honestly, we hope to um, be able to hold a lot of training classes in there even on on some of the equipment so we will eventually we're going to kind of do it in phases we're not a hundred percent sure what all uh what kind of equipment we're going to be able to have but we're going to have some high-tech equipment in there so um we really hope to uh have um some training available for our area youth as they come up through high school too um and not just them but i mean they are our future and we all you know we've got kids that um you know technology is just changing everything so um we we are going to have some high-tech machines in there that do amazing things that uh my husband and i probably <laughs> i'm i'm not going to say we wouldn't be able to run because we could sure learn them but you know a lot of times kids pick up on that stuff just because they've grown up with it um in their generation so much more than than we have so we are excited for that but this is main street right here and there's the old grocery store that's what we're doing so i'm going to take you guys inside and we'll go check it out um i'll walk over here you can hear them they're inside <laughs> We don't know what we're doing to all of it yet. We don't know what we're going to use, but we're actually, um, we're trying to save as much, uh, as many usable things so we can repurpose them too. Uh, there are some old coolers in there that were the produce coolers. And, um, I think, you know, we've got the old ice cream cooler. We've got some different things that we're going to try to repurpose in a pretty creative way that will also work really well in our maker space. So, um, We've got flooring to rip up. Uh, it was left in um, pretty, uh, you know, just yuck, trashed. It's it's kind of trashed and um, holes in the floor um, where the shelves were ripped out. They had an auction here. We didn't we didn't attend the auction, but um, it's it's just kind of gross. It wasn't cleaned up. So we're going to be doing all of the legwork. We're going to be using a lot of our wood from our mill in here, like we did in our other shop. And um, we are gonna be working and collaborating with some other maker spaces to try to set it up the best way. It'll be, you know, something that will change, I'm sure. But um, we're gonna try to make it uh, so that we can set it up so that the makers have the best setup as possible. And then uh, we're also gonna put our slabs, we're gonna put some slabs in here. So for those of you that have come to our mill, you know, we kind of do it uh, 
once maybe twice a, a month and it's outside in our um, big building and it's not temperature controlled so we'll be able to house more slabs here in town and it will be just a different space to come in and find those things and um, shop for that inside instead of being outside in the elements so oh my goodness there's hi you guys Dean I'm on Facebook and I this is the guy that ran the grocery store you just happened to pull in a perfect timing because I'm on Facebook and I was kind of telling what we were gonna do with it well, good. yeah yeah so I was talking about you I, earlier I know one thing it's a good place to have a grocery store it is a good place to have a grocery store. A lot of people thought we were going to do that, but um, we aren't. But we we hope to have you come up and, and do some other things with us if you'll come up and hang out with us sometimes because we'll we've been pretty excited about it. We'll look forward to it. Awesome. Today. Awesome. Thanks for stopping in. Bye. That was just perfect timing. Oh, my goodness, you guys. I uh, I had no idea who was pulling in. I I knew somebody was walking up behind me, but I'm like, I turned around and there's Dean. So, oh, that's so cool. Um, my mom also grew up in this town, and um, she remembers Dean and loves Dean. Everybody loves Dean. So, um, we I don't know if he makes anything. We don't really care. We had already invited him. Uh, to come to some different things whenever we're, we're down here. He's going to probably have his own chair and um, we'll have a spot for him. Anytime he wants to come, he will always be welcome. So um, I know my husband was super excited to tell him uh, that he uh, that we, we got the store. So um, anyway, uh, I'm going to I'm gonna yeah he will be a wealth of information he's well he's just good history and you know he he will um, whenever he sold the grocery store he sold it pre prior to us owning we didn't buy it from him there were some new owners that um, tried to run the grocery store and um, it just didn't work out so um, you know everybody was glad I think that it sold but um, once it started running it just it wasn't ever ran like Dean's and you know I don't think there's anybody that could have done it like Dean necessarily so um, anyway it moved on and it closed up and that was devastating for our town but um, you know there's a lot of good things still happening our manor was just in jeopardy of closing and that didn't happen so I you know we're taking it as a good sign that we are so thankful that the manor is gonna stay open um, we are thankful that everybody is going to keep their jobs there. I know some people worked really hard for that. Um, we just, uh, we don't want to see things closing. We, we hope to have more things opening in the future around here. So, um, it is the old McCrae's. Yes, Tammy. Um, Judy, we're in King City, Missouri. And um, we are in the middle of rehabbing this grocery store and we're gonna turn it into a makerspace so if you missed my video you'll have to go back and watch um, because I talked about what we're gonna be doing with it and um, the old owner that has owned it basically his entire life I think m the lives of many people here in, in King City um, he just showed up so I was like that is so cool I'm gonna flip this around now and I'm gonna walk through here and I'm gonna show you a little bit of what's happening in here Okay. It's going to be loud. So there's some of the old coolers. And there's Dean. And Bucky. There's my husband. He's sweating. So here we've got some boys tearing up some stuff on the floor. The floor is all of this tile looking stick down stuff. So underneath it, let's see what's underneath it guys. So I'm gonna show you. Well, there's the first floor. 
And then there's another floor under. There and is. And then there's a floor. <laughs> yeah. Pulling up two floors, not just one. Yeah. So we're pulling up several layers of floors. That's really loud, really loud, yeah. So this is, we've got this whole floor to do. And it is just huge. There's our produce coolers. What a great space. Oh, Ellen, we would love for you to be able to come help. There's Kaylee sweeping. Good job, Kaylee. This is it, you guys. This is what we're looking at. And there are like two basements, of course, to this building. It's, it's gonna, this is where the meat counter was. So that was the old meat counter. This is the out outside. I don't know. I don't know. I guess that's a sliding door. I'm not quite sure. Uh, I came up here today, and this is this is what we've been doing: is cleaning out trash. And um, this is kind of this back porch area. It's got all the old brick, and there's a mad face of some sort that somebody put on there. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Scott Strain. Yep, I told the guys, of course, um, they probably should wear masks, but nobody listens to me. Um, we do have gloves on, I know that. Well, I don't know if the guys do, but there's a lot of really cool old stuff here, and um, we don't know what we're going to find yet either. Um, we've been in the basement. Um, this is out looking. You can also... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see our other building right over there. If I zoom in, there's our little sh church shop, the outside of it, with the shutters, and it says Miller's at the very top. Better keep beer in one. <laughs> That's what Carson said. So, I'll walk back through here. Sorry, guys, it's a little crazy, but... We do have a really nice security system. <laughs> that was in here. So, yeah, we were excited about that. Um, I'm gonna go up here and show you the other side. Kaylee's still sweeping. There's a lot of sweeping to do. So, I'm gonna go back up here and see what... I'm gonna show you the other side. So there's two sides. So this over here was uh, was redone a little bit back here. So this is a whole other side. Um, I think this is probably where we're going to do some classes. But there's a nice office back here. It's all finished. Um, I can't go back there because the electricity isn't on. It just was transferred or turned off the other day. And uh, we didn't get it turned on in time for the weekend. So we're working in the daylight as long as we can work. There is an old door up here still, an old wooden door. And uh, it's good space, it's, it's, it's good space. So we don't know uh, how we're gonna do all of it yet, but um, we are super excited about it. I'm gonna just sneak in here for a minute and listen. I was afraid Dollar General, they probably put a hurting on it, didn't they? Well, they did in the last two months. There's the old grocery store signs hanging. There's probably going to be people driving by, checking out everything. Those are the coolers, I think, that we may... 
we may make something really cool out of. We've got some good ideas to repurpose some things, so Tammy, he does look good. We will see what happens. I'm gonna go back outside. It's super dusty in here. Whew. Yeah, it's it's really dusty in there, but um, we just wanted, I wanted to come on this morning whenever we got up here and um, just kind of do a tour. We knew we were gonna start demo. Uh, we had. At some point, you know, we had thought we, oh, we'll cover the windows and make it exciting and stuff like that. But the truth is, I mean, we, we really want people to be excited about it now. It's day one and um, we are taking all of the support we can get from people and encouragement because it's gonna be uh, a long process. It's gonna be a lot to do for our family. Our, our family's gonna be, probably be living here uh, for a few months. Uh, not literally, but every day, I'm sure. And um, the guys work at the mill and they're gonna probably come here and work, burn the daylight hours. So um, we are trying to get some things up and running in here and ready for uh, to move forward with putting some equipment in and setting up the space, and making it usable. So the sooner, the sooner we can do that, of course, the better for us. And uh, that's, that's how that's gonna go. So, um, Thank you guys, thank you. Yeah, um, Emily, thank you. We are super excited too. We've been excited for a while and um, we've told a few people, um, but not very many because we just weren't sure what was gonna happen, how it was gonna happen. Um, and to be honest, I mean, we knew we couldn't make it happen without um, Stanley Tools making a commitment to provide tools. So uh, once that happened, we were it was a go for us. So um, we are we are excited. And if anyone you know has some ideas or is interested in um, doing something else, you know, in this town or you know has an idea for a business, I. I'm, I'm all about, we're all about talking and helping, so um, we're on board, and um, it's, it's just something that we think will be a cool thing. It's, it's different. Um, I don't know any other small towns that have a, a maker space in it. Um, it's all about connecting people. It's about, uh, you know, there's a lot of people around our small towns that make amazing things. And anytime that we can use somebody local for things that we need, that's what we do. Um, also with the training and the tech and the, the equipment that hopefully we will have, hopefully we'll be able to um, train some people and hold some classes on some things so that um, if somebody wanted to open up uh, you know, a shop using some high-tech equipment, they could do that too. Um, it's just, uh, I don't know. Yeah, we're trying. We're trying, Amy. Um, that's the plan. Um, we will see. And uh, we'll see where it gets us. But um, we're hoping it all goes good. It's it's a big undertaking. Um, Tina, our store is in our hometown where we live. And our mill is. It's in King City, Missouri. And, um, you know, we have our shop that we uh, have on the, on the main highway. And... Um, this is on Main Street, so um, we're we're really hoping to um, make Main Street in our little town, uh, you know, somewhere that people want to come and visit and bring a little life to it. Um, we had a class last night at our shop, and um, we did a flag. Uh, building class and we had a full house and we had a lot of fun there's not a lot of places to do anything like that in town um, you know and all the time I gotta say too I hear a lot of people say that they're looking for um, you know somebody to do this and they can't ever you know back or they can't get um, somebody to um, you know come do it for them and a lot of those things are smaller uh, jobs maybe but there are a lot of things you know so many things are going online so many businesses are going online and a lot of the skilled jobs and stuff you know people are just ordering online and we're trying to um, actually support the people who make those things I have I buy stencils I could buy them online I don't um, I buy you know I get custom stencils made for me I now I have a company that I order from and I get stencils from and um, they are a 
a small business as well and they're a husband and wife and then whenever I order my vinyl stencils I could order them online but I don't I order them right up the road um, up towards Stanbury so you know everything um, that's it's we enjoy helping other people and I like to say that you rise by lifting others so um, it's not about us it's about the community it's about um, maybe educating and schooling some people around to to do some things and um, people are already doing some of the things that you know that we're gonna have space for them to do it in and maybe you know a lot of times what happens at our mill we have woodworkers who come and they don't have all of this equipment they can't afford to buy all of that equipment to get started um, they don't have the space they don't have a shop they don't have the money to build a shop and start a business so um, that's kind of what the space is about is giving people a space to do something that maybe they want to start a business for and we're hoping to launch businesses out of here that's the plan so um, if you're somebody that's a maker um, we don't have our applications drawn up yet uh, we do have a few people who are um, kind of on our list to, and we've talked with but um, there will be applications and that's how the makers will uh, be allowed in the space so um, we don't know what all we're gonna be able to do with the space but um, there'll be other things too that we're gonna offer and It'll, it'll just be a work in progress, little by little, and um, that's what we're up to. So I wanted to come on, and I wanted to talk about it. I wanted to let people know. So um, the rumors uh, of us starting a grocery store, unfortunately, aren't true. Um, <laughs> I don't know if this town will ever have another grocery store, but um, it's, it's not going to be apartments. Um, it's, it's hopefully going to be a spot where um, a lot of people come visit, and by that um, we also mean people who other towns there are already some other towns who have already wanted to come here over the last several months and um, we've been trying to get this deal closed so there's some small towns in surrounding states um, that have owners and people who've invested in their communities and maybe bought space too and um, they're wanting to put in a makerspace similar to what we're doing. So ours is going to be one of those first. So it will be a place that um, people come from out of state, from out, all over the country, hopefully. And um, they look at our business plan. They look how our, we have set it up. They look at what we've done. They look at how we've um, grown, how we've marketed. Um, and they use our space as their blueprint so just like um, we've been working with somebody in Kansas City who has a maker space and we are gonna be visit visiting with him a little bit more and uh, it's just helping others definitely so um, thank you for watching thank you for joining um, I will be back up here showing progress as we can and um, yeah we are we are here working and if you see us and you want to stop and say hi, definitely stop and say hi. Um, if you want to come haul some trash, I mean, we, we wouldn't complain about that either. <laughs> uh, I don't know how many loads we're going to be taking out of here, but we're just kind of gutting it and cleaning it up so that we can, we can figure out the design space and, and start rebuilding some things in there. So um, thank you for the support. We hope that um, you guys are exci as excited about it as we are. Um, it's we're hoping it's gonna be something really good for our community and for our town so um, stop in and say hi sometime at the new um, grocery store location we don't have a name for it yet so we have yet to, to